God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Have faith in me. Alleluia. In God alone is my soul at rest. My help comes from him. He alone is my rock, my stronghold, my fortress. I stand firm. How long will you all attack one man to break him down as though he were a tottering wall or a tumbling fence? Their plan is only to destroy. They take pleasure in lies. With their mouth they utter blessing, but in their heart they curse. In God alone be at rest, my soul, for my hope comes from him. He alone is my rock, my stronghold, my fortress. I stand firm. In God is my safety and glory, the rock of my strength. Take refuge in God, all you people. Trust him at all times. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. Common folk are only a breath, great men an illusion. Placed in the scales, they rise. They weigh less than a breath. Do not put your trust in oppression, nor vain hopes on plunder. Do not set your heart on riches, even when they increase. For God has said only one thing, only two do I know, that to God alone belongs power and to you, Lord, love, and that you repay each man according to his deeds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Do not let your, your hearts, hearts be, be troubled. troubled. Have faith, faith in me. Alleluia. Let the peoples praise you, Lord God. Let them rejoice in your salvation. Alleluia. O God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples. You guide the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its fruit. For God, our God, has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing till the ends of the earth revere him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let the peoples praise you, Lord God. Let, Let them, them rejoice in your salvation. salvation. Alleluia. His glory covers the heavens, and his praise fills the earth. Alleluia. Let us give thanks to the Father for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in light. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. All were created through him, all were created for him. He is before all else that is. In him everything continues in being. It is he who is head of the body, the church, he who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, so that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him, and by means of him to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. His glory covers the heavens, and, and his, his praise fills the earth. earth. Alleluia. Alleluia. Jesus, because he remains forever, has a priesthood that does not pass away. Therefore, he is always able to save those who approach God through him, since he forever lives to make intercession for them. It was fitting that we should have such a high priest, holy, innocent, undefiled, separated from sinners, higher than the heavens. Unlike the other high priests, he has no need to offer sacrifice day after day, first for his own sins and then for those of the people. He did that once for all when he offered himself. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. When they saw the risen Lord, Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The disciples rejoiced, Alleluia, Alleluia. The man of God welcomes the light that searches his deeds and finds them true. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The man of God welcomes the light that searches his deeds and finds them true. Alleluia. In his Son, risen from the dead, God has opened for us the way to everlasting life. Let us ask the Father. Through the victory of Christ, save the people he has redeemed. God of our fathers, you raised your son Jesus from the dead and clothed him in glory. Move our hearts to complete repentance that we may walk in newness of life. Through the victory of Christ, save the people he has redeemed. You have led us back to the shepherd and bishop of our souls. Keep us faithful under the guidance of the shepherds of the church. Through the victory of Christ, save the people he has redeemed. You chose the first fruits of Christ's disciples from the Jewish people. Reveal to the children of Israel the fulfillment of the promise made to their forefathers. Through the victory of Christ, save the people he has redeemed. Remember the lonely, 
the orphaned and the widowed, and do not abandon those who have been reconciled with you by the death of your Son. Through the victory of Christ, save the people he has redeemed. You called Stephen to your presence when he bore witness to Jesus, standing at your right hand. Welcome our deceased brothers and sisters who in faith and love hoped for the vision of your glory. Through the victory of Christ, save the people he has redeemed. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. God of mercy, you have filled us with the hope of resurrection by restoring man to his original dignity. May we who relive this mystery each year come to share it in perpetual love. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.